And as if this show did not already have enough giga chads, enter Snake. At least so far, I don't know. Things can change on the Diamond Vinland Saga. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus, and yes, we continue the journey today. Uh, Thorfinn's in way worse shape than I ever thought. I mean, I knew he was sad, and he seemed kind of like a dead inside, but to let this guy just straight up cut him up and even his ear, part of his ear off without flinching. Yeah, we got, uh, we got some mental health to work on. Gonna hop into number four called awakening if you're new to the channel drop a sub and let's get started are you gonna make me watch this again i wonder what what this guy would have done fox had done had he had just straight up cut him up to death because he would have i think Thorvin would have just taken it like would that have changed fox oh my god we get to see him punch him again <laughs> God, dude, that's gotta hurt your fist. So Fox, Badger, Snake, they're all animals. Oh, look at those sausages. <laughs> Daddy's home. Look at his nose. It's all bandaged. He got cheeky with us. Bro, no shot you're trying that. Now nah, Snake sees through it. Orphan looks so sad. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Why is he looking like that? The look, the look in his eyes. Oh, oh shoot, what's happening? What is going on? Yo, we're seeing Prime Thorfinn. He's back. Wait, he saw Askeladd in him. Why? Ah, his natural reflex. When faced against Snake though, not against freaking Fox. <laughs> He said, see that? Your body once was like fight or flight. You die. I mean, he, at least he runs a good ship. He's got them wrapped around his finger. Rightfully so. They were, they were. <laughs> he got a little glimpse of him. And do what? God dang it, dude. This is so existential already. We're like three episodes, four episodes into the season. Dung! Is this like the farm doctor? Looks like it. Kind of. Doesn't know what to do about his guest's misbehavior. Send them away! What? Just fire them. Don't they work for you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You weren't there, Doc. Dang, bro. It's only natural. As if he said, like, we deserve to. Aw. At least this guy's nice. Pater. Pater. Wow. W. Pater. Humble, too. He didn't realize how much they've been through, I think. Wait, what did Arnhead do? Oh, she vouched. <laughs> okay, dude. He's like, she's such a goddess. Bro is in love and love. Bro, something horrible is going to happen to Arnhead. It's going to be so freaking tragic. He's like, say thank you, young man. <laughs> it's like wait it's like it's like uh juxtaposing like a, a dad and a, a kid that's cute say it young man say it that was cute imagery mm. oh th dude i love that thorfinn at least has a and r the relationship is i i don't know i think it's a, it's a, a glimpse of hope for him Oi, to work oh he's going on a walk <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I think Thorfinn's like, what else would I do? <laughs> and then Adar's like, what else would I do? <laughs> you guys could hang out. Maybe skip a, skip a rock on the pond or something. He's like, there's got to be more to Thorfinn. He looks like he's like a detective. No ordinary man is crazy. I mean, it's glaringly obvious that Thorfinn's been through something, but I don't think he'll ever open up to a &R unless they go through just to hell and back together. I don't know. It would take a lot for him to actually talk about that stuff. 
Alright, here we go. Time to find out if he will. Anything else? Oh. He'll admit to it. He's not like ashamed of it or anything. I think he just sees life very black and white now. Getting up there. <laughs> Timber. <laughs> Inar almost seems like, I don't know, I'm not angry at him for not talking about it, but I don't know, he looks so cold about it. Damn. All those trees cut down. Wow, he, wait, he's actually just telling him a lot. I guess because, like I said, he doesn't care. I mean, he's the one that asked. He can't be mad at the answer he gets. Mm. God dang, dude, the, the vibes of this show, like the soundtrack, everything, like the pacing between dialogue. Ah, just keeps me reeled. Wow, I bet he hasn't said a word to him after that either. He's digesting it. Yeah, he does look cold, man. That makes sense for him now, like the night terrors and how it, he's woken up like that. Oh, he's oh no, yeah, he's mad. He's just thinking. Oh, I see. He just pictures Thorfinn as being one of those people. No, yeah, that, that makes way more sense that he'd be angry. Yeah, because Thorfinn very well could have been one of those guys. And how yeah, the how just aimlessly they slaughtered. It wouldn't hurt him though. Thorfinn would have, I don't think, would have ever killed. Uh, he only killed soldiers. No, he never killed like just random civilians, to my knowledge. I don't think. Even when they slaughtered that town full of just like random people. My gosh. What's he doing? He's letting his like rage take over. And hey, stop! Bro. Oh, this is like his night terror. And him choking him out is just adding to it. This is probably what he sees every night. Armies of the undead, people he's killed. Bro, Adar! Oh no, he's gonna lash out from this. Dude, was that the first woman from the village that took him in? Wait, I think that was. Oh my God. Oh, he caught his hand. He never, wait, he never even knew that Anar choked him. And he never will know. It was like a moment of weakness for him. But I don't think Thorfinn would even hold it against him, to be honest. That's why he has these nightmares. Because he's like, I, I, it's essentially in pain, no? Attack villages and kill a lot. I guess maybe I shouldn't put it the past that he killed like women and children too. He's one of those those demons. He knows damn well why why Anar looks at him like that. Yeah, he's had people. Even not knowing his full story, he knows. Because, I mean, Anar's seen hell, but he still would admit that he's had good things and good people especially die for him. Yeah, but he... He said he's still no better. Damn, but Anar's like forcing himself to get past it. Oh! A moment of humility for Thorfinn. That's why he wakes him. God 
Damn, bro. What was that? Oh. <laughs> so sad. I'm sorry. Who's this? Is that Canute? <gasps> oh, I think it. Oh my gosh, that was the whole episode. Oh my gosh, that was like a 10 minute scene. That was an insane scene. Oh my gosh, wait, is that Canute? I mean, there's soldiers with like nice looking horses too. It looks like he's visiting like graves. He's, yeah, yeah, these are graves like of soldiers. No, that is Canute. That is Canute. I would, I would know that stare anywhere. He's got like kind of like a royal looking headband. Ah! Oh! Shoot! Damn, what a powerful episode, bro. That was nuts. But it's something they were going to have to get past eventually. Him finding out about just how much of a soldier Thorfinn was, how much he did in the war, and yeah, just how much he could very well be one of those people that killed Einar's family. But Einar is going so far to get over it between them so that they can mend things by just saying like, no, you didn't kill my family. It was whatever. Why, why, why would you be so upset about it? He's taking that first step so they can get there. I think that's genuinely also why he thanked him. Not just for waking him up, but for giving him that reassurance that he is still a person and that he's had good people. Oh my gosh, man. Einar is the perfect character to mirror Thorfinn. Someone that is still optimistic about life, but has still lost a lot. It is basically at, at rock bottom. I think at the end of this, no matter how it goes, Thorfinn is going to be just at the point where he owes his life to Einar for uh, sort of starting to bring him back from the brink. And, and this sheer emptiness. But guys, that's been it for my reaction to Awakening. I guess Awakening is inherently this maybe hopefully new path for Thorfinn. Drop a like on this one if you haven't already, and I'll catch you next time. Peace, peace.